Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back those of you that have subscribed. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like my channel, follow me. In this video, I'm gonna be carpet lining the inside of my barn doors, hence the cutout ready for the windows to go in, but I want the carpet to overlap around the join instead of the U-trim. So I just wanted to show you the finish really. That's the kind of finish you get on the inside. Um, it's a lot, I think it's a lot neater, a lot more professional looking than this. I don't know if you can see that, which again is okay, um, but it's like I've got a big old ridge there. First thing we're gonna wanna do, or I'm gonna wanna do, is get my door ready. Um, so I've got to remove this panel, uh, which is already carpeted. I'm not sure if I like this colour yet. I might go brighter colour. Uh, I might go, say, a brighter colour. I might go a light grey colour, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've got the anthracite to do the doors in, um, but we'll see what it looks like when I've finished. So you're going to want to clean your door. You're going to want to remove any panels. I've kind of taken this off and loosened it up because here it is. <laughs> kind of loosened this up. Um, I don't want to try and dismantle it and take it apart, um, but what I'm thinking about, about being able to do is cut a little hole in the carpet and sort of stretch it over that. Um, but we'll go through that in a mo. So let's get cracking, let's get removing the parts on the van. release that again cut a little tiny hole in the carpet and kind of ease it over the top of that but to start with I'm just going to carpet line it all then I'm going to cut this patch out in the middle um, so I can gain access to this in the future if I need to without having to cut the carpet again it's already cut um, so I'm going to get my carpet I'm going to get my glue I'm going to get myself set and get any other little tools I might need um, and then we'll get started so this is my carpet. Uh, these tools are really handy. Um, so it's like a hacksaw bladey, knife bladey cutter, but it's a carpet cutter. So you can just get it in and sort of pull it along and it will cut your carpet really well. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is just measuring out the carpet I'm gonna need. Uh, now it's a four way stretch. So it is gonna stretch a little. But what I don't want to do is have a shed load of carpet hanging around that I don't need to work with. Uh, now it's not a great idea to do if you're working in the van is to start cutting bits off and, and that sort of shindig but because I'm only doing a door and I know that I've got enough to do both doors, I'm literally going to cut a panel off so that I've got less slack when working to pull around. second rib down, you can just show you under here, just pop that out of the way. I'm going to try and go up to this ridge here, nope, this ridge, see, I'm glad I ain't started. I'm going to go up to this ridge, go all the way around and follow the line of that so that when the door closes all you'll see is carpet but when the doors open you'll just sort of see this top area around here. 
I don't want to be going all the way to this edge, really, I don't think. Um, not really sure, but we'll see how we get on. And if I don't like it, I'm going to have to peel it off and I've got enough to do it again. So this is your trim fix adhesive, um, but it is quite toxic and it's quite flammable. So obviously don't be smoking whilst doing this. And if you can, do it in a well ventilated area like outside or put a mask on. So here we go. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the vehicle first, then I'm gonna spray a roughly the same amount, I'll show you more, the same amount onto the carpet. Leave it like a few seconds, let it go tacky, and then I'm gonna bring the carpet across, flip it over, and then I'm gonna to start to press it in. Uh, now to get right in these lines, what you're gonna need is one of these little trim tools. Uh, these are pretty cool. Um, this one I like especially for carpet lining. It's got like a round edge, so you can sort of work it in rather than it being too pointy. I don't want to catch the carpet and rip it halfway through because you'll have to start again. So, here we go. Now I'm just going to start with a little patch first and then roughly work out where it's going to be on this bit of carpet. And then line the two up and press it into space. Place. Okay. What you want to try and do when you're doing this, obviously when I start to pull down, I'm going to want to try and keep a bit of tension on the carpet um, and actually see that there's a line through that carpet. So what I want to probably do is work on that line. So I pulled it off, but as you can see there, there's still a little bit of tack in the carpet. So I can go back, give it a light squirt onto there and also onto the carpet again and then get my hand underneath, start feeding it up to the line that I want to work to. If you start getting little areas that are stuck and starting to crease, just pull it out and start again. Okay, so that's the first part up the top there. Get my little trim tool, work it into that line, work it into that line. All right, so now I can flip the carpet over. So now I can sort of feed it down as I work my way down the door. This bit here is going to be a bit of a pain, um, but I'm sure I will work it out. So I've managed to trim up all the way around the edge. Uh, next step for me, before I do uh, this edge around the window, is to um, just put the door card back on and the handle and just clean up this little bit. So I'm going to get that done quick and then I'll get back to you. So I'm ready to do this part now. Um, so what I'm trying to get is that sort of look, um, but I, I don't want that much carpet sticking out because obviously you'll see it underneath the window. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray around this edge. I'm going to pull over what I can pull over and the bits that are tight and the corners, I'm going to have to try and trim them back just so I can sort of peel it over. And I'm just looking to get a nice edge all the way around this window frame. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up
I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this. Okay, so all that's left to do now is just to get my Stanley blade out and trim all the way around the edge, leaving enough space for a decent blob of glue. Foot window. That's it for the carpet line in the door. Um, I'm gonna get I ha go ahead and just give it a really damn good clean now. So that's door number two. And that's all put back together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the windows. So if you wanna see me adding the windows, I'm just gonna close that around. Uh, if you'd like what you've seen and you're interested in more videos, then click the link to the next video in the picture, which will be the window fitting. But that's it from me, it's Tom, it's T-Dubs. Um, subscribe, like my channel, follow me for some more videos. Thanking you, bye bye now.